Okay, so it's not high? Scared, sir! <laughs> Reaction TV, it's on Corbin. I'm Rick. <laughs> I warned you. Uh, and uh, please follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. It's so juicy. I think we're supposed to make sure. Uh, and it, it had been a while since we've done that. I knew you were going to do something that scares me. Yeah. I knew that was coming. I do that. Yeah. But uh, anyway. So today. <laughs> We're gonna watch uh, the top 10 insane spin balls. I had a feeling this would probably be related to cricket because we're wearing these jerseys. Wow. The way you deduce is incredible. I am observant, aren't I? <laughs> uh, but uh, we've reacted to, of course, the catches and then the best... What was the first one? We did catches and... Then hits. Hits. Was it hits? Yeah, who, we watched the one where it was six straight sixes. Oh, the six sixes, yes. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, but then we did the catches, and uh, now people have suggested that we do spin balls. Yes. So we learned about spin balls, and we, we did. Got, yep. Uh, and I'm guessing it's like a crazy curveball. Uh, right. <laughs> that hits the ground. That hits the ground. And right. Then, so I, actually, I think it's more like um, in soccer. I used to play soccer. Uh, Where you can bend it. Yeah, you can bend the ball. Right. Uh, and sometimes it hits the ground, sometimes it doesn't. Right. Um, usually it's in corner kicks. Correct. I, I used to be able to do it. I can't do it anymore. Uh, <laughs> I never was able to do it. As a sport, I was ter I played it. Mm -hmm. not, a, not on a league or anything, but like you played it in PE and in school yeah. and stuff. And I was, I was awful. In fact, one of my worst memories from childhood is playing a game and we had the chance to win it and I had the ball and I had a free open shot. Oh, God. And it didn't even come remotely close. And I heard... Everybody behind me who was on my team go, oh, and I walked off in shame and never played it again. <laughs> it's probably for the best. <laughs> I'm bad at it. I would have been mad at you too. Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, it's top 10 uh, insane spin balls. Cricket updates brought to you by Ultimate Source of Cricket Knowledge. Subscribe! Hold on. It looked like it went through the freaking bat. What was that? I think it like spun right next to him and then spun up and hit the wicket. Slow moss. Yeah, I think it will. Come on. Scott Sterling. That's all I ever think of when I hear the watch. Watch. Right. Oh. <laughs> it looks like it goes through the freaking bat. No, you didn't see it hit the ground? I did. Oh, yeah. That was insane. Wow. Wow. Might have just hit in the foot box, but it's a quick delivery. I saw how you released that. Well, that's, uh, you say pitch leg hit off. Well, that's pitch way outside leg and hit off. Wow. Yeah. It looks like it's going to go outside and it comes back in. That's why he's walking over here. Yep. That's an insane shot. What is it? It's, uh... Yes! Wow! Yes, indeed. That is a magical moment. Unclear. That's almost like in bowling. Anybody in like when you do a spin. Yeah, yeah. But, like, obviously different, but that's almost what it's like. Getting it in the right areas. Just a little bit of flight. I look wow. at the <laughs> That's a real beauty. Deserved a wicket. That's crazy. It's expensive. Went for plenty, but he's come... Did that go between his legs? He's trying to kick it away, the England captain. Yeah, it did, it went behind his leg. It went through. He nutmegged him? How do they... Do you have to like... I'm just trying to figure out how you like, read the physics behind knowing when you release it. And when they have to go like this? Go so right. spinning like this and then it'll go right. Right? 
Yeah. Like it's almost like a forward right. They've got to know by the break of the way they're releasing the ball, they're putting a spin on it that's going to make it hit a certain spot. Wow. That's impressive. <laughs> You're like, when that happens, you're almost like, yeah. No, that's so easy. Did he peg him or did he? No, 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 no. He, he, he whiffed. He thought the ball was going to come on the inside and it actually kicked back toward the outside and he just completely missed it. It's very impressive when you can't even tell what happened. Big thing on that one is the length. First ball of the was a little bit fuller. This time he's yeah, okay, so he whiff. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Flatter and quicker. Wow. Well taken. And this is what the guy was doing at, when we played cricket? Yeah. When he said he was a spinner? Right. The kind of stuff right. he, he would do. That went behind him. It, it, bent, <laughs> it bent around him. He thought and there was no way that would look. Wow! He barely missed his leg. Yeah, I would have thought that's not even remotely close to them. That, that, that would not hit the wicket. I would have thought that's going to go way off to my left. Yeah, I think it grazed his leg. Watch. Yeah, I think it grazed his leg. This music that they yeah. have. Why did they do that? Copyright. That's why. Well, we didn't need the music. They're doing it to over. Ah, put over so that they can't tell what it is. Beautiful. Watch that angle. I this see kicks this off the. It's almost like it hits a pebble. It changes its angle so drastically. Watch this. Bang! Holy cow! <laughs> How does this guy know where it's going? I guess he knows he's going to do the shot. That was like a. Why do they all wear white? What's up with that? Stay cool and you might be But both teams are in white. Parker has been so good around the outside edge. Parker has been so good around that outside That is interesting. You see the ball. One of these is India. One of these teams. We've seen it and with success. That's the logo for Fantastic bowling and a huge breakthrough. I like your sweater vest, bro. Yes. Oh, babe. <laughs> <laughs> the single. Yes. Change, Dominic Cook. What a beauty. It's only in the slow mo. I mean, because what's wrong with his mouth? I think it's sunscreen. Is it on his mouth? And his, his nose and his mouth. That's my guess. I could be completely There's no way in the hell I could ever hit any of you. No way. That's just impressive. And makes it even more impressive when you realize how much of a batsman someone like, well, there isn't another one like Sachin, but to see what Sachin can do and knowing that bowlers are doing this. What happened? Did it hit? I thought it hit his leg. Break. The finger is raised. The West Indies have lost their fifth wicket before lunch. And the final innings by Darren Ganga. Big turn here. Look how far it pitches outside the outside. It went between his legs. Coming back. The question is, has it hit him close enough to the stumps? Oh, is he saying oh. he blocked him? You can't, because you can't totally... I don't believe you can walk. Right. If you're too close to the yeah. playing the shot while he was sort of attempting to kick the ball away. This is an absolutely extraordinary dismissal. Well, I can't see it. Yeah, yeah, I can't see it with my can't stuff see it anymore. How am I supposed to watch it? Okay, so example, absolutely. I always go back to baseball because that's the sport I know so well. Is if I'm hitting, mm -hmm. I can tell by the rotation of the ball when it leaves the pitcher's hand, what kind of a pitch I'm getting. Doesn't mean I'm necessarily gonna be able to hit the pitch necessarily, but I can tell, and that's the thing you're taught to do as a, as a hitter in baseball, is if you can, you wanna watch the release of the ball and catch what the rotation is, both to see if it's gonna be coming at you as a curveball, or if it's gonna be a slider, if it's gonna be as 
a two seam fastball or a four seam fastball because those will those will move differently. Mm -hmm. Can batsmen do that in cricket? Because I don't know. I'm guessing. Well, I don't know that the rotation of it coming out of the hand is going to be a true indicator of where it's going to go because it's going to hit the ground. Yeah, so you have another element. You have another element in which you have to recognize, okay, it's, this is the spin it's going at. And the same thing for the, like... I'm guessing they can because they know, they've seen everything. Must be. And a bowler, obviously, is doing what they're doing with the intention of, okay, if I put this spin on the ball and I put it here on the ground. So, for example, in baseball, you only have the one element. I'm going to bleed my hand and I'm going to put it through the strike zone and put it in a particular area, paint the plate. They are also taking into consideration what's going to happen when the ball hits the ground and how it will change the trajectory of the ball. Which is why they say no. It's, way, it's way more complex. Cricket minus brains. Right. Equals is baseball, equals baseball. Baseball. They say. Yeah. Still a little extreme. It, it, but it, it is a little extreme. I understand what you're saying. Because there are some <laughs> aspects of the game of baseball that cricket doesn't have that are extraordinarily intelligent and you got to know the game really, really well to understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. But there's levels of complication in this and complexity with what a batsman has to do and what a bowler has to do that doesn't even touch baseball. Yeah. Not even close. This, I mean, this is a, from a bowling and batsman point of view, way more, way more difficult. Yeah. Way more difficult. And there's, yeah, there's just so much, I'm, I'm glad we're finally understanding it though and I can appreciate. Right. Like if we ever went to a game, like we could appreciate. Which I don't know that that'll yeah, ever happen. I don't know if it'll ever happen. I mean, it sucks if we, I mean, if we maybe could really see India. That'd be the great. next World Cup, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I mean, we could go and we could see a team that like is Pretending to be India, maybe. Yeah, maybe. A doppelganger team, maybe. Uh, they'd probably go to Florida. Yeah, probably to Florida. Who wants to go to Florida? That would suck. It's basically the South Dakota of the South. 